Good morning, my friends. It's Friday, July 9th, and I'm here with you at the Rising of the Sun, Kate. Don't know where my cat is. One's outside, one's inside. But I do have this beautiful cross to help me pray. And if you hear some whining this morning, it's my dog who is eager to go for a walk. Don't know why he's so impatient this morning. Beautiful cross. We continue in the first book of Samuel and David arrives on the scene where Goliath with all of his fancy gear and really strong is out there challenging someone to fight him and the Israelites are terrified. Saul adds to the mix by saying, hey, whoever defeats this Philistine can marry my daughter. Now, this has great um, echoes in all folklore from many cultures. There's often this big dragon or bad guy or the guy with all the latest gear who stands up and no one wants to face him. And the king says, whoever is brave enough will have my daughter to marry. And this little guy comes forward and slays the dragon or the bad guy or the impressive guy and gets the daughter. So David comes and he's at first, first just bringing food like a servant or a younger brother. He's just bringing food because his dad says, but he comes and sees this scene and he, and even in his young age, makes a judgment, seems very sure of himself and says, why isn't anybody fighting this guy? And what again was the prize? So he's got some savvy and greediness to him. He wants to hear reiterated again that the guy who wins gets Saul's daughter. And then he says in a much more sort of prophetic and kingly way, how could anyone not fight against this guy when we have the living God on our side? Um, can't we just go in and have confidence in that? His oldest brother gets mad at him and says, what are you even doing here? Why are you questioning us? You're little, you're unworthy, you shouldn't be here. Go away. So here we have this young upstart who is beginning to rise into his own power and his older brother is threatened by him, but he has a kind of a confidence, not only in himself, but a confidence in God. What an interesting concept. What if we didn't need to be confident in ourselves, but what if we could be confident in God, that God is going to lead us in the right direction, that in the end, God will figure this all out. What if you, could be confident, not so much in yourself, but in God who dwells within you. What would our lives be like if we could have the confidence of David at a young age or just begin now, no matter how old we are, and go into the world with a kind of fortitude, trust, strength, not afraid anymore, but confident in God's goodness and confident that we will do what God wants of us simply because we're trying and asking. What if we weren't afraid? What would your life be like if you weren't afraid? David simply had confidence and that was how it all began. And you kings and queens, you should have confidence too for you are children of the same living God. So go out today with great courage to face whatever comes your way. We have nothing to be afraid of, not even death itself now, do we? Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you for this new day we thank you for the confidence that comes in understanding that you're with us. Your strength is our strength, that we don't have to be afraid. Help us face whatever comes our way today with wisdom, patience, and confidence. Help us to become the people that you call us to be, Lord. Bless those who are sick today. Bless our loved ones. Bless the dying, the hungry, the lonely. 
blanket this earth with your peace, Lord, that we may come to know you and to serve you. This we pray in the name of Jesus, your Son. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day. Get out there with confidence.